Hello everyone, I'm Nick with the Facts, coming back with another episode of me, like you know, interviewing sports athletes, and who I got with me today is Finn Allers from, who went to Chambly, but you know, as is at like, you know, Concordia College in Chicago, where you know it's a Division three school that I read about. I didn't really like, you know, know that. I thought it was Division one, Division two, but hey. I got it now. It's Division Three. So tell me about yourself, Finn. Uh, well, my name's Finn. I'm from uh, Atlanta, the Shambly area. I went to Shambly Middle, Shambly High, all the way through. Uh, I played football at Shambly for all four years. I believe my f- first start was sophomore year. I want to say, but I've always been, uh, I've always been on the team, and you know, it'll all be, always be one of my favorite teams to play on. You know, I'm an accounting major right now. I'm in my second yeah. semester of my freshman year. Um, and, yeah, you know, I got one season under my belt already and, you know, looking forward to, to next year. Did you play in any games? Yeah, so this year I started off the season, I was just holding and I was like the number three quarterback on the depth chart. And then at the end of the season, uh, our and I believe it was the last game, our starter went down with an injury and I came in and played the rest of that game and finished out that game. So name one thing people don't know about you. Like I always ask all the sports athletes that really come on and see me. So tell me one, one thing people don't actually know about you. Um, it's probably that, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a nerd. You know, I love, I love my star Wars. I love my Lego sets. <laughs> you know, I, I love numbers, and obviously, I mean, I'm an accounting major, so, you know, a lot of people get that, but I am i wouldn't say that I'm like a lot of, you know, athletes. I would say that I like, I enjoy a lot of nerd stuff. That's oh, what I Oh, okay. Doing. Yeah, Star Wars is pretty good. Except, oh, I like I, I, I like the new ones better than the old ones, per, per se. See, I like, I like the, I liked episode, episodes four, five, and six. And mm-hmm. then the ones right. that Disney did, I didn't like, like the Anakin ones, of one, two, and three. I wasn't a big fan of those ones. Yeah, neither was I until, like, you know, the recent Star Wars came out. When the recent ones came out, I liked those. I think it was a good uh, addition to the series. Now, how did it feel to get recruited by a Division three school called Concordia University Chicago, which is in Illinois, with as you're a quarterback coming out of Shambly and you know the team was like you know bad a long time ago until it got better because I guess the coaching change and everything yeah. really set it all set the tone yeah so, tell me what that was like uh you know it was weird um uh, it's it's I, I had to kind of sit back and think of a lot as like they were trying to sell the school to me because it's kind of like you're a customer in that aspect where they're trying to tell you oh you should come here you should come here and I was fortunate enough to have a, a bunch of different right. vision three schools talk to me and recruit me so it was it was definitely a new experience because in high school you know you're going to that high school it's the one you're zoned for this one you had a choice and you had to choose the best one for you and I think that that made it you know it was stressful um, but, but ultimately, I think I made the right decision. So, so no, like no Power Five schools, Division One schools, or Division Two schools are looking at you. Uh, I had a couple Division Two schools that I had interest from. I had some NAIA schools that I had interest mm-hmm. from. Um, there was one school that just recently moved to Division One from Division Three that I was talking to for a couple weeks, but that just kind of fell through after they got some more interest from other people. So, okay. Yeah. Nice. Now tell me about your historic season from 2020 and how you guys went from bad to good when you were like, you know, a senior, this was your senior year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was uh, one of probably the, that was one of the best seasons of football that I've ever had of my life. You know, not even just like from a personal accolade standpoint, but um, just it was nice growing up with all those kids on those teams and going through so much in the previous three seasons with a lot of them. Um, And it meant a lot just because we finally had a coaching staff that really believed in us and believed that we could do it. 
and mm-hmm. it was it was so nice to see all that hard work you know paying off for everybody that did that and you exactly. know, it was just really nice that we were able to set the tone for like, this past season which was an even better season past season and i think the season after you had graduated the season started to become like you know even more better as well i believe we went nine and one yeah 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 this time they went nine and one so, so uh, was, yep go ahead go ahead it, it was it was just it, it's really nice to kind of look back at it and be like you know my class of you know, my graduating class was one of the first classes that kind of turned around and set right. it up for the current senior class that is, you know, killing it and the junior class that is just you know, really, really good. Because, I mean, the previous times that I would go to football games, they'd lose all their games. Like, you know, I went I went as a freshman, like even I graduated in 2018. Mm-hmm. And I never went to any of the games as a senior because of the fact of how t- bad the team really was, even though they yeah. won one game. Yeah, it was Drew Hills. It doesn't really count. Yeah, they won one game. And, yeah. And I, in my sophomore year, I didn't even go to, like, you know, any of the other games that were even going to be challenging. I yeah. went to the Arabia Mountain game. Mm-hmm. And, of course, they lost that game. By a whole bunch, they didn't even score a point. Yeah. yeah, but I guess you guys are are away from Arabia Mountain because you guys got put in another division or conference. I guess for the most part. Yeah, we got moved uh, to well, no, actually region. another region. I, was, I should say. Yeah. So yeah, in some games I went to in my junior year. I mean. Yeah. It was uh, they, from since they, like 2012. It had been not very good. <laughs> they won. They won two two games actually in my junior year, beating surprising surprising these some of these teams. I think it was Salem and Columbia. Yeah, it was. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, let's see. What are your hobbies and interests outside of sports? Outside of sports, uh, I like video games a lot. I like, you know, working out in a non-team sense. You know, I like researching, like, food and nutrition. I'm big into that kind of stuff. And, uh, I don't know, just a lot of Madden, a lot of, you know, Fortnite hey, now. Madden. Video. I like I like that game. I love Madden. <laughs> and, yeah, not, and, there's not yeah. much... And I'm trying to get used to Fortnite because I have it for my Xbox One. And the biggest the biggest game console I'm trying to save up for is a PS5. Yeah. Yeah, I just – I hadn't played Fortnite in, like, three years because I was never really good at it when it first came out. So I just kind of, you know, didn't play it that much. And then all of a sudden, you know, this past in these past couple of weeks, my friends, you know, back home started playing it again. I was like, all right, I might as well pick it up. I've had a lot more fun than I expected to mm-hmm. So, like, you know, since going to college, what have you learned about playing at the collegiate level since being in high school? Um, It's a full, it's a year-round commitment. I mean, it it always has been in high school. You know, you always had to think about next season. But Mm -hmm. now, I mean, even though we don't have games or practices, we still work out five times a week. We're running twice a week. We're lifting almost every day. Um, trying, trying, Trying to build that upper body strength, I see. Definitely. Yeah. And we, uh, you know, it's a, it's a much bigger time commitment and, you know, being in college, since you don't have your parents there, right. you know, keeping track, it's all on you. So it, it was, it was a bit of a learning curve at first. Um, mm-hmm. and, you know, it's on you to get to class. It's on you to get to meetings. It's on, it, it's just a lot of, a lot more responsibility, but once you get used to it, it's, it's not too bad. Right. Exactly. Now, how easy was it to play quarterback? Um, I wouldn't say it was easy. I, uh, you know, I'm, I, I've been playing quarterback for long enough that, you know, from, uh, you know, higher up I go from, you know, park ball to middle school to high school and now to college. It's like, mm-hmm. it, I don't think it gets any harder. I think the competition yeah. level just increases. So you have to increase how well you play and you have to spend a lot more time looking at different nuances of how you're going to be, yeah. be better than the competition. Different playbooks, and I mean, learning the players. 
learn the mm-hmm. coaching staff and all that stuff, other things yeah. that can really like, you know, get get to you as you like, you know, transform in your life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's a lot more, it's a lot more dependent on watching film, you know, in your own time. Mm-hmm. Because before in high school, we would only watch film like as a team and you never had to watch it really by yourself. Now right. exactly. you watch all the film. So, like, you know, um, name one guy you like throwing to in high school. Oh, my favorite target in high school is probably uh, Jeremiah uh, Brown. He graduated a, a year above me, but he was there in my junior season where we only won one game. Mm-hmm. But it was the first year with the new coaching staff, and that was probably one of the most fun seasons I think I've had. You know, I was hurt for a lot of that season too, so right. I didn't play as many games as I as I wanted to. But you know, throwing he was he was one of those guys where it's like you he's always going to be where he's supposed to. So it's like if everything goes downhill, you know, the pocket collapses, you need to get rid of the ball. You always know where he's going to be, and he's always going to make a catch. So he was one of my favorite guys to throw to. I love throwing to all of them, but I definitely love throwing Jeremiah. How about um, what's his name, Sadiq Ross? Oh. I, Sadiq's my boy. I played baseball with him too. I love Sadiq. Uh, he's, I mean, outside of just being football, he's just one of the best dudes that I think I've ever met. You know, he's a nice, genuine dude, and he's, you know, he's cool. He's, he's dope. He's cool to hang out with. And uh, throw, you know, I, he didn't play a whole lot of offense in my senior year. He played more defense, where he was, you know, he was a dog. But um, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I can't. I, I have too many good things to say about Sadiq. He's a, he's a great dude and a great player. Yeah, because I just ended, I had him on the show. I had him on an mm-hmm. episode. You can check it out. I'll send you the link on YouTube. Oh, I'll check that out, yeah. I, I, oh, I love City. Great player. Right. So, like, you know, how would your teammates and coaches describe you? Um, I think they'd probably describe me as, you know, charismatic, maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I think I, being a freshman, I have a lot of, you know, younger energy, and it's like, I, I I like to I like to talk back to you know a, a lot of the players that I know are better than me. I like to tell them that I could do this on them, do this on them, and we all know I can't. But I think I bring a lot of energy. I think my coaches would probably say that I'm I don't know I'm I'm I think I'm very good at you know talking to everybody and building relationships with everyone. You know I think that's something that I take pride into in in my leadership abilities that I can just be cool with everyone. You know, I'm not going to have people that I'm going to have problems with on a team or anything. I'm going to be at, at the very least acquaintances with all of them. We're all teammates. And I, I don't know. I think a lot of them would probably just say, you know, I have a lot of energy and I'm very social with the whole team. <clears throat> so now which quarterback do you model your game after? Uh, you know, it's changed a lot throughout my time playing quarterback. You know, growing up and even now, my favorite of all time is Peyton Manning, um, mostly just because of how smart he was and how he right. was never, He was never the best athlete on the field, just kind of like how I view it. I'm never going to be the best athlete on the field, but you can always be the smartest one on the field. And that's kind of yeah. what I took right in a lot is just winning the mental game. And if you win the mental game, then the physical game will kind of come too. But now I think physically I model it a lot after – you know, Jalen Hurts or Kyler Murray, at least in my throwing motion and mechanics, um, most of that, the Lincoln Riley tree of throwing mechanics. So, okay, and tend to close it out. Have you ever been injured before? Yes. Uh, I, know I, have. I know you mentioned that you said that you've been injured. Yeah. No, so my – Junior year, it was when we were playing Dunwoody. It was the second game of the year, I believe. Mm. Uh, I broke my wrist on my throwing hand, and or I guess it was a scaphoid fracture. But I was, you know, had to have surgery. I have a pin in it right now. I have a little scar. Probably can't see, but I have a pin that's in my thumb, and uh, I spent. I missed the second half of that game. And I didn't come back until the second to last game when we played Arabia Mountain. Um, and I played in that game a little bit. But, again, Fabian, uh, 
played most of that season as a freshman. And I, you know, I, I, Fabian's like, I love Fabian. He's like my little brother. And I'm really happy that he got that experience because now he's out there doing everything, uh, everything that I wish I could have done. Having, you know, he's having a great career, but um, I know he's that. A junior, that right? This was my junior year. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he's a junior. Yeah. He's a junior. He's a, uh, yeah, this was his junior season, but yeah, you know, that, Breaking my wrist there kind of really halted my development. I think just because I couldn't throw. Mm-hmm. And that's a full season, well, almost a full season. I think I played three total games, if you include the halves. I I barely played that season, so that kind of halted my development a little bit. But it helped me bond with the team, the coaches, and you know I developed kind of a passion for coaching, just being able to help out on the sideline and you know work with Fabian and work with the receivers and work with all the different players on the team. Um, I think that I think it was a great experience for me, whether, you know, even though it sucked, it was, it was a good learning experience. Okay. Okay. So like, um, I mean, so how many games have you guys won? Uh, Concordia. Yeah. So this past season, I believe we won three. Mm. Uh, yeah, we, you know, started off with, you know, we won two games against, you know, probably some lower ranked schools in lower ranked schools. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we got in a region play and I think that we didn't really get it all together. We weren't really there as a team. I mean, it's the same situation. You know, it's a new coaching staff. Um, right. It wasn't the coaching staff that recruited us. It was a completely different coaching staff. So new offense, new defense, new everything. And I don't think we really gelled as a team until, because, I mean, even the first two games we won, we, you know, we were playing lower-ranked teams. They, the games shouldn't have been as close as they were, because at least skill-wise and talent-wise, we were a lot better than them. But we didn't really play as a team. And then I think the second-last game of the year was when we really came together. We went out, we won, we beat Wisconsin Lutheran. Yeah, Wisconsin Lutheran, and we really played as a team then. And then the last game, the one that I played in, you know, we didn't win that game. It was, You know, we I, probably got blown out. But um, we played well as a team, and that was the big difference. Was that you know, even though we won three games, we weren't playing like a three-win team at the end of the season. Mm. But hey, y'all, like you know, it's a learning experience, and it's time, and it's about gelling. So I see about that. Yeah, we definitely made big improvements towards the end of the season. I mean, I remember we had, we had a, I think it was a Friday practice before our game against Wisconsin Lutheran. And we came out wearing, you know, the offensive players were wearing the defensive jerseys, some linemen put on the quarterback practice jerseys, you know, and they didn't fit or anything. We had a lot of fun that practice. And I think that was kind of a big moment for our team. So, okay. Yeah, that, that was good. So where can they follow you at if they're not? Um, you know, Instagram is finalers10. Uh, Twitter is also finalers10. You know, I don't, post a lot at all but um yeah that's where i'm at and if there are any updates that's probably where they'll be so all right finn hours checking in on an episode of myself as nick with the facts follow me on instagram facebook tiktok so yeah finn hours check it checking in so peace out have a good one I told you long ago on the road. I got what they